All right, welcome. This is Jay Jacobs. I'm going to run through a quick tutorial of how OpenPERT can do some quick analysis. So I'm going to run through the ALE method uh, methodology, the annualized loss expectancy. It's a rather basic, sort of a high-level, uh, wet finger in the wind kind of risk analysis. Um, useful for quick and dirty analysis, just uh, get some perspective. So. The, the, the theory is, is that you pick the um, annual rate of occurrence and the single loss expectancy. And so the, the theory is, you know, if it happens um, once every two years, that's a 0.5, and the single loss expectancy is 10,000. And then you end up with uh, basically this times the ARO times the SLE, and you get a ALE of... 5,000. So with a PERT esti estimation, what we have is the three variables. We've got the minimum, the most likely, and the max. And instead of doing just a single point estimate, what we're going to do is create a distribution then around uh, our belief of what these values are. So for annual rate of occurrence, let's say at uh, minimum it's going to happen once every 10 years. You can do this too, w once every 10 years. Most likely it'll be once every two years, and maximum will be twice a year. Um, and you can optionally add a, a confidence interval. I'll give it four. You can optionally give it um, a low or something like that. For the single loss expectancy, let's say minimum, we're going to see. $10,000, uh, most likely, I'm just making up numbers here, so, uh, maximum, let's say 500000 low confidence on that too. So just for the fun of it, we're just going to do this here real quick, open OPERT, and we're going to take the minimum, most likely, maximum, and the confidence. And for now, we're just going to do that. Um, and so we get a, a value there. Now, the, the addition in 2.0 is that you can create a, a name distribution from this. So we'll create ARO, name that distribution ARO. And then we will do the same thing here, but name this one SLE. So now you can see we've got everything in the, the third row. Uh, and we're going to name that the SLE, the Single Loss Expectancy. And so what we can do now is if we go into the add-ins in the OPERT menu, which should be there, and run the simulations. Now let's do 1,000. We're going to use the light Latin hypercube sampling because we're doing about 1,000. Um, and we're going to start that, and it should be done. Now if we want to get a feel for like our, our Single Loss Expectancy, we're going to describe a distribution and now in here we've got the two distributions that we created. So let's go ahead and take a look at the SLE. And it'll create a new page called SLE Descriptive. It's describing the distribution. So after a thousand simulations, this is what we see. Um, you can see a very slow, slow curve here on this red line. That's, that's representing that low confidence that we had. So you can see the, uh, the peak here, the mode is what about 65,000 something like that with a slow curve going down and there's descriptive statistics over on the left here on the percentiles here and things like that now now back on the first tab you can do things now like what is the percentile percentile uh, the array so we're gonna take ARO now we'll do SLE which is dollars and then the 0.25, the 25th percentile, it's about $57,000. And then you can do things also like uh, you know, average, SLE, uh, max. And you can do all sorts of functions on that named range. It's just a named range in Excel. Um, you can see the open per disk here. So it's actually created a thousand entries of, of values from that. And that's what all that calculation is coming off of. So. Um, so now to do the ALE, what we want to do is uh, dist math. 
which basically we take the annual rate of occurrence, take the product against the SLE, and we're going to call that the ALE. And uh, should be done. So now we want to describe basically our annualized loss e expectancy. So this is just a, a quick example um, talking about how to use OpenPERT. Looking at this graph here, if you look at 50%, it's a little bit above that line. It's right about here, somewhere in there. So it's uh, 50, I don't know, 55,000 maybe. And, and we can actually, oh no, we can't. But uh, so this is a, the description then of the annualized loss expectancy. And you can see there's some uh, jittiness in that line. It's not a real smooth red line. It's got some slight dips in it, not too bad. Um, but you can see, uh, you know, when it gets up to about 200,000, I think it put a maximum of 500,000 in there. But about 200,000, we're starting to get into extreme range here. It's 92%. So 92% of the time, we could say it'll be less than... Uh, about 200,000, you know, just from the complete rough estimates that we put in there. So, so that's how you do uh, annualized loss expectancy real quick and dirty in there. Thanks.